Okay, so this is how you do the body in the mini cutscenes skip now. You have one armor, combat armor, and you place it like this in the doorway. About this far back. And then you hit it at an angle like this. Except that you have to jump a bit early. If you try to jump too late like that, it just knocks you off without really bouncing you at all. So like this. And if you hit it at a better angle, you can actually go a lot faster and not bounce up quite as much. Okay, so this is an explanation of how to do the Rumbler Room at the end of Rickenbacker Pod 1 before we would use incendiary grenades and duplicate them to have enough to kill the Rumbler. In the new revised route, you simply don't kill the Rumbler and more or less hope you have good luck being able to mantle and relocate. Um, the thing to know is basically what visual cues to look for to know if you're good or not and only attempting to place a relocation marker if you got the mantle off right. So I'm going to go ahead and show that off now. You want to kind of bump into the rumbler sometimes, it seems to help. And you can tell that was a good uh, relocation because you smoothly go up over this and you don't um, like stutter or anything. I'll try to do that again really fast. So you come in here. Here's Mr. Rumbler. Let's see if I can get a bad one. Nope, that was still good. Yeah, so you can see it's actually pretty consistent. Um, so yeah, basically just don't worry about this guy. He's a big softy and not anything to worry about. This is the revised route for Rickenbacker Pod 3. It's very similar in the first half. The only thing is you basically skip the second half, so I'll just go ahead and show it. This is the same. Once you're clipped into the ground, you want to go over here, place a relocation marker here, just straight ahead. Make sure you grab sharpshooter because that's now faster in the route. You want to hold crouch, hit relocate while not moving, and you'll be like this, and then you just want to hold um, left straight and forward and you just fly off this and down here to the bit, to the pod. See so you skip uh, going over here and then down this ladder and then around to over here. And you only use 10 extra psi so it's pretty good. Okay this is to show off the new method for doing the body of the mini skip. Um, it's basically the same as it was before it's just now you have a different place where you uh, relocate from so watch carefully. Mantle here, relocate there, then forward, relocate, set you in the ground, and then place a relocation marker here like usual, go back this way, and you want to get on the seam right here, about this far from the uh, beige part there. You want to aim back this way, aim right here and hit uh, speed hypo, and then you just want to hold forward and right strafe, and then relocate about a quarter of a second later, like that. And that'll put you right on target for the pipe. Uh, one thing to note is, compared to the old route, you do not want to hold lean forward or anything like that, just forward and right strafe. <laughs> 